really big campus. Everything's nice. The scenery out here is beautiful. And just looking at being in the stadium when it's nighttime with all the video, I mean, all the music and everything going on, it was just an amazing day. You like Georgia Tech, Alabama, and Florida. Does one have an edge right now, especially after tonight? Uh, right now, they're all about tied right now. It's, just, it's really hard to decide. I'm hopefully by my junior year or something, I might be able to get it more down back. How does it feel to be a 2012 guy kind of rivaling some of these older kids and showing them what you're made of? It feels pretty good to me because I, I it, just make, it just makes me feel that I belong here and I, that I can compete with people that are older than me and just that I'm pretty good. At just. And talk about some coaches that you've talked with today and what have they said to you? Do you feel like you've developed a strong relationship with anyone? I think I developed a real strong relationship with the D-line coach. I mean, he's just a real funny guy. He's down to it. He says the D-line is the heart of the uh, heart of the whole the team. They do all the work mostly. And I really like him a lot. Do you have a really specific funny Dan McCartney story to tell us? Uh, not really. <laughs> he's crazy. Yeah. I know it's early, but, you know, what yeah, is... I bet I will. It's kind of early, but what are kind of some of the things you're looking at? Right now, they got uh, they have to have a pretty good uh, engineering program, academic, because I'm pretty smart and I want to be able to do something after I get out of college or if I make it to the league after that. And because I'm really engineering is something I like to do and it's pretty interesting to me. What kind of engineering? Uh, right now, I'm, it's between either civil, architectural, or mechanical. Either one's pretty good. Though. You gonna have time for football with that? <laughs> Yeah, I'll have a little. I'll be able to manage it all. I hope. <laughs> Did you know the engineering school's right there, and the football stadium's right here? That's really close. I can just walk and practice right after I start. And the practice is right there. Yeah, everything's right here. How'd you do in one on ones today? I was undefeated all throughout, and I did the same move all the time, but <laughs> they couldn't stop it, so I just kept doing it. Describe that move. Tell us more about it. It's just uh, it needs that. Took a jab step outside, and then threw a club and a rip and went inside all the time. Who's the toughest guy? Anybody? Uh, they, I couldn't really pick a toughest guy because they, they all were beat pretty easily. But there was this one, a left tackle I didn't get to go up against. He was he was pretty good. He was uh, I kept. He was pretty tall. He was white and he had some spiky hair. I don't know what school he went to, but he looked pretty good. One little description of the swamp. It's amazing. <laughs> That just because I, I used to love alligators growing up, alligators and snakes. And I just love them. So it's almost meant to be. Yeah, I hope not. <laughs> wow, so you're like a science guy, then engineering, yeah, reptiles. Animals. Yeah, some people make fun of me, but I'm bigger than them, so I can make fun. <laughs> <them twice. laughs> Are you planning on you know, looking at these schools before you, you know, start your next year? Or is this kind of well, this is kind of a lot really early for you? Yeah, it's, it's been a lot to go through. I just had to keep on going through all the camps, just not to give up. But uh, this one, this will be the last camp, and um, I might uh, go up to Tennessee for a visit and see how it is up there. But, yeah, this is the last camp.